what do we see here we see a ratio 7 is to 40 now what if we have to convert this value into percentage can we do that well definitely we can now we have already studied about converting fractions to percentage and that is the principle which we are going to apply here so first of all we'll have to convert 7 is to 40 into a fraction now we know that when we are solving 7 is to 40 we can write it as 7 by 40 and this is the fraction which we needed now how do we convert fraction to percentage well we multiply this value with 100 and we place a percentage symbol beside it so this is what we get now if we simplify this expression then what do we get we get 35 by 2 percent which is nothing but 17.5 percent so what did we do we converted this ratio into a fraction and then we converted this fraction into percentage by multiplying with 100 and then placing a percent symbol beside it and we got the answer now we have another question here we have a ratio 2 is to 25 now what will be the percentage for this particular ratio well we'll have to solve it using the same principle that is when we talk about 2 is to 25 we can write it as 2 by 25 now if we want to convert this particular value into percentage then what will we do we'll have to multiply this value with 100 so we can write it as 2 by 25 into 100 and we'll have to place a person symbol beside it so what do we get from here well 25 into 4 is 100 and 2 into 4 is 8 so the answer is 8 percent and this is how we solve ratios that is whenever you have a ratio and you want to convert it into percentage this is how we solve it so now we have another question here so this says that Ravi mixed five parts red color and three parts yellow color to get a beautiful shade of orange color what percentage of the mixture is red color and what percentage is yellow color so we have been given parts that is in the mixture five parts were red color and three parts were yellow color we need to calculate the percentage here so what is the first thing well first of all we see that in terms of ratio we can write it as red is to yellow is equal to 5 is to 3 because we have 5 parts and 3 parts so what will be the ratio 5 is to 3 so this is the ratio which we have now to convert ratio to percentage we know that first of all we will have to get the ratio in the form of fraction now you will have to notice that simply writing it as 5 by 3 will not solve our problem because we need to calculate the percentage of red color and yellow color in what we need to calculate the red color and yellow color from the mixture so we have a mixture in that five parts are red and three parts are yellow and we need to calculate red is what percentage in that mixture so first of all we'll have to calculate what is the total part so we have five parts red three parts yellow so what we do is total number of parts will be five plus three so eight is the total number of parts we have now from that five parts are red and three parts are yellow so we can write 
in the mixture five by eight part so five parts is red total parts eight so five by eight part is red color and three by eight part is yellow color so now we have these two fractions here right now percentage of red color will be this fraction will be converted into percentage so 5 by 8 into 100 and we place a percent symbol beside it when we calculate this what do we get 62.5 percent similarly we have 3 by 8 part yellow color so it will be 3 by 8 into 100 so percentage of yellow color is equal to 3 by 8 into 100 and a percent symbol here so we have 37.5 percent so in the mixture 62.5 percent is red color and 37.5 percent is yellow color now I have a percentage here what if I need to convert this percentage into ratio how would I do that well again in the case of ratio to percentage what did we do we first of all converted the ratio to a fraction and then the fraction to percentage now we'll just reverse that process so we'll convert this percentage into a fraction and then the fraction to ratio so what do we have we have 28 percent now what can we write 28 percent as we can write it as 28 into 1 by 100 whenever you remove this percentage symbol you'll have to multiply the value with 1 by 100 isn't it so it is 28 into 1 by 100 now what do we get from here when we solve this value we get 7 by 25 so we have got a fraction now now simply this fraction can be written as ratio so what do we get 7 is to 25 so we had this percentage value and we converted into fraction first and then the fraction can be written as a ratio so what did we learn today well we learned that if we need to convert ratio to percentage then we'll have to convert into fraction in simplest form and then multiply by 100 so we convert this ratio into fraction in simplest form and then we multiply the value by 100 now what if we have a percentage well if we want to convert percentage to ratio then we'll have to convert the percentage into fraction in simplest form and that fraction can be written in the form of a ratio and this is how we convert ratio to percentage and percentage to ratio don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per icse cbse ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our I dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you also get amazing prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now